So today, I'm going to be starting a new experiment. I'm going to create a new Guppy Cross. I've been researching a bit on Guppy genetics and I'm going to be sharing what I have learned. Now, Kamiki Backyard did a great video on the basics of Guppy genetics. And he did a much better job than I'm ever going to be able to do. So if you want to learn some basics on genetics, I suggest you click on the link in the upper right hand corner. And don't forget to come back. So the cross that I'm going to start today, as you can see, is between the magenta round tail and the double ear red mosaic copy strings. I've done a bit of research and found that there is an extensive document that logs and classifies a lot of copy genes that we see out in the hobby. This document is like a gold mine if you ever think you want to get into mixing copy strings or even if you're just interested in copy genetics in general. I'll link the document in the description below if you're interested. Now from that article, I found that the magenta gene is dominant, which I believe means the fry will express the magenta gene as long as it receives one copy of the gene from its parents. It also states that the double ear gene is sexing on the X chromosome. What I think that means is that the fry only receives the double gene from its mother. So I have to choose a female that contains the double ear tree, which is a bit of a challenge because females don't actually obviously express that tree. Since heavy black melanophore pigmentation on the pectoral fins is also a trait of the double ear expression. So based on those two facts, in order to get a double ear magenta guppy, it'll probably be best to make a female dumbo with a male magenta. But if I do the opposite combination, male double with a female magenta, it'll take an additional generation, meaning the daughter back to the male double in order to achieve the double ear magenta guppy. Now I know it's not as simple as that, and that there's a lot of other genetics involved, like the half moon mosaic trait in this double strain. So it'll be very interesting to see what we get. I hope to be able to take you guys along on this experiment. It will take at least a couple months, but we'll eventually get there. If you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching.